If you decide that a pre-designed template is not for you, you may want to create your website from scratch. Starting websites from scratch offers ultimate design freedom in WebPlus. We'll look at starting a new site from scratch via the Startup Assistant. When you open WebPlus, you'll be greeted with the Startup Assistant. Or, if you've already got the program open, select Startup Assistant from the File menu. Click New Site on the left. Now, you'll need to complete the details in the main pane. First, give your site a name. This can be anything you like, but it's best to keep it simple. Next, type in the web address you want to use. Don't worry if you haven't set up web hosting or confirmed your domain name yet, you can easily change this later. Select a colour scheme. Again, you can always change this later if you want to. If you're creating a desktop site, leave the default page size as it is. If not, select your chosen page size from the list. Now, you can set up the initial number of pages you want to include on your site and choose if you want to add a navigation bar. Finally, leave the Save Site option checked if you want to save your site as soon as it's created. Then click Start New Site. Navigate to where you want to save your site and then click Save. Your site will appear in the workspace. Before we start designing, let's change the page names. On the Site tab on the right, right-click Page 2 and select Page Properties. In the Naming section, give the page a new name and then click OK. Repeat this process to rename the other pages in your site. You can now see the navigation bar at the top as updated to show the new page names. I want to change the design of the navigation bar. To edit it, we'll need to go to the Master Page. On the Site tab, click the arrow next to Master Pages to open the Master Pages window, and then double-click Master Page A to display it in the workspace. Objects added to this page will appear on every page of the site. It's useful because we only have to edit the navigation bar once on this Master Page, and any of the pages added or deleted will immediately make my navigation bar update. Double click the navigation bar to select it and then in the edit navigation bar dialog click on the type tab. Browse the categories on the left to find a navigation bar you like and then select it. In the preview you can hover over the navigation bar to get a feel for how it will work on your site. When you're happy with your choice click OK. The navigation bar will update to take on your chosen type. Resize it and move it into position as required. OK, while we're still on the master page, we can give our site our title. To do this, I'll click Insert Artistic Text on the drawing toolbar on the left. Artistic text is a great way for adding titles, quotes and other text that you want to stand out on your page. You now have two options. Either click once on the page to set an insert point to start typing, or click and then drag the crosshair cursor to set a particular size. Release the mouse button and then start typing. Now we can format the text. First, triple click the text to select it. Text can be formatted using the options on the context toolbar. To choose a new font, click the arrow next to the current font and then scroll down to view all the available fonts. Hover over any font to see what it looks like when applied to your text. Set a specific font size by choosing a size from the drop-down list or typing a number into the box. You can change the colour of the text in the colour tab. With your text selected, click on the colour spectrum to choose a colour. Use the sliders to fine-tune your selection. When we set up our website, we choose a colour scheme. If you want to stick to the colours in your colour scheme, you can view them at the bottom of the Swatches tab. Simply click on the swatch you want to use. To complete my text, I'll add a simple outline. On the Line tab, drag the slider to set the size of the line, or type a value into the box. 
It's really easy to resize artistic text. Simply drag the corner handles to make the text bigger or smaller. For unconstrained resizing, hold down the shift key while you drag. The text will change shape when resized in this way. I want to add the second part of my title, but it needs to look exactly the same as this one. So I'll select the text, hold down the control key on my keyboard, and drag away with my cursor. An identical copy of the text has been created. I'll just type my text and then format it as before. Quick shapes are effective design elements that can be used as building blocks for your site. From the Quick Shapes flyout on the Drawing toolbar on the left, select the Quick Rectangle and then drag it out onto your page. You can edit the colour and outline of your shape in the same way that we edited the artistic text. If you select your pages on the Site tab, you'll see that they all look exactly the same, because they share the master page we just edited. Now we'll add content to individual pages, starting with the home page. Double-click the home page to display it in the workspace. I'd really like to add a slider to bring this page to life. Sliders are special animated panels which you can use to display content on your site in an interesting and exciting way. To save time, we'll use one of the professionally designed sliders that come with Webplus. Sliders are one of a range of ready-to-go professional design called assets that you can use to build up your web pages. The Assets tab on the left is perfect for browsing and storing content for use in all your projects, and we'll look at this in a little more detail later. For now, we'll add a single asset by clicking Insert Asset on the basic toolbar on the left. This is the Asset Browser. You can search for assets, or browse categories, smart folders and pack files. In the Pack Files section on the left, I'll click the Sliders folder and select the slider I want to use and click OK. Click once to set your asset at its default size and then move it into position. For step-by-step -step instructions on replacing placeholder content in sliders, See the Editing Sliders video. To complete this page, let's add some introductory paragraph text, but this time we'll use text frames. On the basic toolbar, click Insert Text Frame. Click where you want the text frame to start and drag out onto the page. Dynamic guides will appear to help you position the text frame correctly. See WebPlus Help for more information. Now you can add text to the frame. Either type your own text into the frame now, or copy and paste if you've already got some text prepared. Then, format your text as required. To illustrate the difference between frame text and artistic text, let's resize this text frame by dragging on the resize handles. As you can see, only the frame size changes, and not the size of the text within it. The home page is looking good, so let's move on to one of the other pages. First I'll give the page a title using artistic text. Then I'll format it and change the colour. When you're changing the colour of objects, make sure you've got the correct colour swatch selected. For example, I want the text swatch, but there are also swatches for fill and line, depending on the object that's selected on your page. The Styles tab on the right of the workspace contains a variety of object styles which can be applied to objects on your page with a single click. With your object selected, choose a category on the Styles tab and then choose a thumbnail. I'm going to choose a drop shadow. If you don't like a particular style, just select another one and replace it. Next we'll insert a text frame. If you want to populate your text frame temporarily, you can insert placeholder text. This will help you visualise your page and you can easily replace the placeholder text whenever you want to. Right click the text frame and insert fill with placeholder text. 
I'd like to insert an identical text frame, so I'll select the first frame, press the Ctrl key and drag to create a copy like we did earlier. Alternatively, you can add text frames from the Asset Browser. Click Browse at the top of the Assets tab to begin. Text frame assets come under Page Content, so first we'll select the Page Content category on the left, then scroll down the main panel to browse available assets. Select the asset or assets you want to use and click Close. Your assets will appear in the page content category of the tab. Click on the asset you want to use and drag it onto the page. Move it into position and resize if required. Assets are schemed so it will automatically update to match your colour scheme. Now we'll add some pictures. If you know exactly what picture you want to use, you can use Insert Picture from Disk on the Basic Toolbar. However, it's often better to add an empty picture frame first to allow picture positioning. From the Insert menu at the top of the workspace, select Picture, Empty Frame. Click and drag to draw out the picture frame on your page. Use Control drag to create an identical picture frame and position it on the page. We now need to fill the frames with our own pictures. On the Assets tab, there is a dedicated Pictures category which you can add your own pictures to to make them available for whenever you need them. To do this, click Add at the bottom of the Pictures category. Navigate to your pictures and select the ones you want to use. You could use Control click to select multiple pictures randomly or Shift click to select multiple adjacent pictures. Then click Open. Your pictures will populate the Pictures category on the Assets tab. Within the category, select the picture you want to add and then drag it onto one of the placeholder frames. When the inside of the frame turns blue, release the mouse button. The picture has appeared in the frame and has been cropped to fit. Repeat this process until your picture frames are filled. When you save your site, you'll be prompted to save the changes in your Asset Pack. This pack contains all of the assets in the Assets tab that you have been using for this project. Asset packs are really useful and will save you from having to find content in the Asset Browser or add your pictures each time you open your site. It's best to save the Asset Packs in the default location to make it easier for WebPlus to find them. Finally, we'll preview our site to see how it will look when it's published. On the standard toolbar, Click the down arrow next to Preview Site and click Preview in Window. Use the navigation bar to view the other pages in your site. In this video, I've shown you several techniques for adding content to pages and master pages in your site. Now it's your turn. Continue using these techniques to edit each page on your site and enhance its design. Feel free to experiment with a combination of text frames, pictures and assets until you achieve your desired result. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed starting from scratch and seen how easy it is to create brand new designs in WebPlus. To find out more, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.